Journalist questions Man United over strange Fernandes decision. Manchester United have reached a breakthrough in contract negotiations with Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes moved to Old Trafford from Sporting Lisbon for around £47 million in January 2020, signing a five-and-a-half-year deal on £100,000 a week wages. The Portuguese has been Manchester United's best player, since despite him being a comparatively low earner in the squad, leading to the media trying to create some sort of panic with regards to his contract situation. But numerous outlets have been briefed about a development in those protracted talks. BBC Sport report on a positive feeling at Old Trafford about Fernandes staying, although a club announcement is not expected until after the current international break. The 27-year-old played 80 minutes for Portugal as they beat Turkey 3-1 in their World Cup qualifying play-off semi-final. Fernandes stands to more than double his current earnings to around £240,000, according to The Sun. They report that the player had been uncertain about committing his future to the Premier League side, but has been convinced by the promise of a rebuild and the potential appointment of Eric Ten Hag. Ajax head coach Ten Hag interviewed for the vacant permanent manager's position earlier this week and fellow candidate Mauricio Pochettino believes the Dutchman is now favourite to be appointed. Manchester United agreeing to extend Fernandes's contract while continuing their search for a new manager has been questioned by James Ducker of the Daily Telegraph. He reports that the five-year offer will be made because the Portuguese believes the team will turn a corner under a new manager, but Ducker has questioned one aspect of the extension. After running down the peculiar deals previously offered to Phil Jones, Marcos Rojo and Nemanja Matic, Ducker writes, Bruno Fernandes is not in the Jones, Rojo, or Matic category, but the news that Manchester United are close to tying down the Portugal midfielder to a new long-term contract still seems strangely timed to say the least. With three years to run on his existing deal, plus the option of another year, it is hard to understand what the rush is to tie down Fernandes for longer, when the club have still to appoint a new permanent manager and the midfielder's form has dropped markedly this season. Why not wait a couple of months and first gauge the new manager's opinion on Fernandes and where he would fit in his plans? That would seem the more logical move.